What's up YouTube and welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be doing my Oregon versus Georgia prediction but if you haven't please like share and subscribe to the channel and by doing so it greatly helps out my channel and it helps me grow as a content creator. Uh, this is a exciting matchup I uh, can't wait to see it. Uh, we have the reigning uh, national champions in Georgia uh, who had a phenomenal season last year and um, we have a team in Oregon you know that's going through a new stage with new head coach Dan Lanning, the former Georgia defensive coordinator. So uh, this is going to be an interesting matchup, and I uh, can't wait to see it. And uh, I've been doing some research on the teams, and uh, I'm going to start with Oregon. You know, uh, Oregon is a team, you know, that has a lot of talent, and uh, they're going to be one of the teams to look out for in the Pac-12 this season. And I'm going to start at the quarterback position. You know, they have a, a former five-star uh, recruit in Ty Thompson, uh, he was already there at Oregon, and um, a lot of fans are looking for him to take the next step, you know. But uh, he still hasn't adjusted to the college game yet, so but he has a lot of potential, and um, he's a pretty, pretty good player, guys. And, um, of course, you know, they have Bo Nix coming in from Auburn. Uh, we all know uh, Bo Nix, you know, so uh, he can throw and he can pass, you know. And speaking of passing, you know, he accumulated 7,251 yards with 39 touchdowns and 16 interceptions. And then he also had 869 rushing yards and 18 touchdowns in three seasons at Auburn. So uh, this is a guy that played a lot of uh, college football. Uh, so he has uh, experience, you know, over Ty Thompson. Um, I expect him to be the starter, but uh, I know Dan Lanning hasn't named a starter yet. But uh, I think he's going to go with Bo Nix. You know, but we have to see, you know, and plus, you know, he has experience playing Georgia. Uh, he's he was never able to beat them, but uh, he got a good chance this year, you know, because uh, Oregon has a very, very good uh, offensive line coming back this season. You know, their old line could be one of the best in the country this season. So it's going to be interesting to see what Bo Nix does with a, a great old line. And at running back, they have Byron Cardwell. And he had 61 carries with 417 yards. And he was averaging 6.8 yards per carry, guys. So uh, that's pretty good. And he had three touchdowns last season. So uh, I expect those numbers to go up, you know, especially with this O-line that they have. And uh, he's definitely going to be a running back to look out for. And then at wide receiver, they have Troy Franklin. And will be probably the top receiver you know, in the offense, you know, uh, that's another good guy that they have at, at the wide receiver uh, position, sorry. Then they have tight end Terrence Ferguson, uh, who's 6'6", six, six, guys, and he's definitely going to be a weapon. Uh, very, very big uh, tight end with nice frame. So it uh, seems like teams in college football now are trying to get these type of tight ends, you know, this type of height, you know, because it's almost – impossible to defend against them, you know, in the defense. So uh, that's another good thing that Oregon has going for them. And on the defensive side, this is a position where they can be really, really good, guys. Uh, at D-line, they got D.J. Johnson. And he's entering his sixth year at Oregon. So this is a guy that's a veteran, been in the system, uh, know how to do everything well. And they also have Brandon Dorless, who has – experience playing uh, next to uh, Kate, Kate Dunn, uh Thibodeau. You know, we all know a uh, great player, beast of a player, and um, he was playing alongside him while he was there. So this is a guy that got reps. Uh, he played around greatness, so uh, I expect him to step up on the D-line. Then at edge, they got Braden Swenson, and uh, he was playing behind Thibodeau, you know, and uh, his, his uh, snap should – Increase, you know, this is a guy that's playing right behind Thibodeau at the same position, you know, off the edge. And um, I expect him to shine this year. Then that linebacker, they have Justin Flo, uh, who was injured. He's been injured and everything like that, but he was highly recruited. And if he get at 100%, he's going to definitely be a beast for Oregon's uh, defense. And, um, and, of course, with Justin Flo at the linebacker, they have Noah Solel, uh, led, led the team in tackles. And, um, both seasons since he's been there. So uh, he's definitely going to 
thrive under Dan Lanning's defense, guys. Uh, he fits right in with his scheme and everything. So, uh, then at cornerback, they have Christian Gonzalez is a guy that came, I think he came from Colorado. Uh, very, very good cornerback. You know, like I said, uh, the way Dan Lanning schemes, you know, his defense for Oregon can be very, very good this season. Then we'll switch over to Georgia. Like I said, quarterback, you know, they got Stetson Bennett, you know, uh, national champion, you know, led his team to the national championship, and he actually won it. So uh, experience at the quarterback position for him. Then they also have Carson Beck, and I saw the depth chart. He's number two behind Stetson Bennett, uh, very, very elite uh, quarterback, and he looked very, very good in their scrimmage game, guys. So uh, they definitely got talent at the quarterback position. Then at running back, they got Kenny McIntosh and Kendall Milton. And uh, I don't have to say much about, you know, Georgia's running back. Georgia's always going to have good uh, running backs. You know, Georgia's, you know, known for developing good running backs. So uh, I don't have to say too much about them. And at wide receiver, they got A.D. Mitchell and Lad McConkey. Two guys that's very, very talented, you know, at the wide out position. But the next position group is where I think, Georgia is going to flourish this year. It's at the tight end position. Uh, they have Brock Byers. What can I say? A beast of a player. You know, uh, he was tearing my team up. <laughs> you know, uh, he's definitely going to be a tight end. You know, that's going to be uh, the look out for. And then they also have Darnell Washington, another big guy with big frame. Then they also have Eric Gilbert from LSU, another talented guy. You know, so. Those three tight ends is going to be like a three-headed monster. And especially if all three of them out there at the same time, that's, that's going to be uh, tough to defend. So uh, I think Georgia's offense is going to, you know, kind of lead them this year just a little bit, you know, be able to keep up, you know, until the defense gets uh, up to par. But speaking of defense, really, if you think about it, I wouldn't be shocked with Georgia defense. It's probably going to drop off just a little bit, but uh, Kirby Smart is known for – you know, rotating his players. Um, they got a lot of guys come back, guys. And at the defensive tackle position, they got Jalen Carter, who is a beast. I heard some people say, you know, he's better than Jordan Davis, who was a beast last year. And um, I think he got more snaps than Jordan Davis, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, he's set to make a, a breakout year as the starter. They also have uh, Zion Lowe at uh, nose tackle position. And they got two guys that they got back on the edge, and Nolan Smith and Robert Beal, uh, two beasts of a player. So uh, that pass rush is going to be nasty for Georgia. Then, you know, on the back end, they got Keely Ringo, you know, a guy that flourished in the national championship game. And um, they also got Christopher, uh, Christopher Smith at safety. So, like I said, guys, uh, Georgia might drop out just a little bit, but a lot of people are overlooking Georgia's defense thinking, you know, because they lost so many guys on defense that, you know, they're going to take a huge step back. I, I don't see it happening. Uh, I, they still going to have a top 10 defense. I, I can guarantee you that. And um, like I said, all those guys on defense and on offense that they got coming back, you know, all these people, you know, they could be in the NFL right now, especially the defense. So, you know, with all that being said, you know, if I had to get my prediction on the game, it's going to be a game at first. I think, uh, like I said, Oregon has a great offensive line. It's going to be fun to see their O-line go against Georgia's defensive front. And um, I think it's going to be a slugfest. But at first, you know, I think Oregon may, you know, shot Georgia at first until Georgia settles down. And then I think Georgia is just going to eventually run the ball and be able to do it at will, guys. Uh, Georgia got a good offensive line comeback as well. You know, Georgia's good on both fronts. And um, I'm leaning towards Georgia winning the game. And the reason why is I remember when Oregon lost to Utah. You know, Utah is a physical team. And um, they was able to muscle Oregon. They, I think they beat them twice, if I'm not mistaken. And in my opinion, I think Georgia is, a, you know, better up front on both ends of the ball on, you know, as a team. You know, if Oregon struggled with Utah, you know, I don't like their chances going against Georgia, who had one of the best fronts in the country. You know, so with that being said, I got Georgia winning. I 
think it would be like a score like maybe 28-17 or something like that. You know, like I said, Georgia just talented to everywhere, guys, on the offensive side of the ball and the defensive ball. And I think the talent just going to, you know, be too much for Oregon. I could be wrong, you know, but I just got Georgia taking this win, you know. But it wouldn't shock me if Oregon came out and uh, was able to put up a lot of points as well, guys, because there are a team that likes to score a lot. But uh, what you guys think, you know, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And once again, guys, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll definitely be back with more college football content. Thanks, guys, and roll top.